Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashim Dutta and today we are going to discuss about shear force in a beam apparatus and its order code is 23247221.1. So in this video we are going to discuss about the working of this apparatus. So this is the beam deflection apparatus and this is the whole setup. So here we are having three load cells. So this is the first load cell, this is the second one and this is the third one and here this is the main control unit here we will have the readings from the three load cells and this is the panel so on the top of the panel here we are having the scale of 200 centimeter so you can place the three load cells at three different distances according to your requirement and then you can place the rod over these three load cell and then you can take the readings. So we need to connect the three load cells on the back of this control panel. So the connectors are needed to be connected on the back of this control panel and the control panel is having the main cord which is to be connected to the main AC supply of 230 volt. So let's connect the three load cells to the main control unit first. So now we will connect the three load cell on the back of this control panel. So firstly we will connect the first load cell so you need to connect it like this then you have to connect the second so according to the cuts that are given on the connectors we need to connect them like that only now we will connect the third one and here we are having the 3 pin connector which is to be connected to the AC supply of 230 volt so after the connection is done now we will put a SS rod on top of the load cell and then we will connect three dial gauges on the top of the panel. Now I will put this square shape metal rod on the top of this three load cells. So here you can see that I have kept this SS rod on the top of the three load cells. So you have to keep the positions of load cell in such a way that the rod should be placed over all the three load cells properly. And now we are having three dial gauge. So we are having three dial gauges. So we need to fix these dial gauges on the three load cells. So I will do it one by one. So firstly, you need to unscrew this dial gauge from the back like this. So this, you need to unscrew them by rotating it in anti-clockwise direction. So that is how this dial gauge gets unscrew and now you have to put this nut on the middle of the scale section. So you need to put the dial gauge like this and you have to screw them from the back. And now, so that is how you need to connect the dial gauge on the three load cells. So now I will connect the second dial gauge. So we need to unscrew it and then we need to Keep it like this and then we need to screw 
it from the back. So that is how you need to connect the second one and now I will connect the third one. So that is how I have connected all the three dial gauges. So you need to make sure that the points of the dial gauges should be on the top of this rod. Now we have three metal rods of this shape. So we need to connect this disc on one side of this metal rod. So you need to rotate it. like this so it is to be connected on one end and on the other end we need to connect this pointer so we need to put the one end of the metal rod to this hole so we need to unscrew this nut first then we need to put this pointer like this after that we need to screw it so that is how we need to assemble this rod with the disc and the pointer so i have used two rods one and one so these are the two rods which i have used and this is the third size this is a smaller one so you can use this one also as per your experiment requirement so for this experiment right now i am using the same length and same width of metal rods and i have connected the one end of the metal rod with this and the other with the pointer and now i will place these two on the ss rod which we have placed on the top of the load cell and we are having different sizes of the metal rods so this is the square shape this is the uh, rectangular shape and we are having the round shape also and we are having different different shapes so for the square ones we can directly connect these pointers but for the round ones we are having these so we can place the round shape on the round rod and then we can connect the pointer here. So I will show you how you can connect the round metal rods. So now we will connect these on the load cell. So firstly I will put one. So you need to insert it from the bottom gap which is provided and then you need to place it like this and then you need to screw it like this so the pointer should be on the top and here we will put the weights on the circular side we will put the weights and this is the pointer now we will put another one here so you need to tilt it a little bit to get the rod inserted properly and now here we will screw so that is how we will connect the two pointers like this so now we will put these circular weights on the rod and then we will do the measurement from the control panel so on the control panel we will get the measurements of the three load cell so now we will take the readings from the dial gauge and we will take the readings from the control panel so firstly we need to connect the three pin plug provided on the control panel 
so we will connect this at the single phase AC supply of 230 volt so now I have connected the control panel to the main supply and now I will put some weights so these are the 1 kg weights so firstly I will put a 1 kg weight at this end and now I will put another 1 kg weight at the first pointer so now we will take the readings from the control panel and we can take the readings from the dial gauge also so as the weights are applied on the uh, downward position so the dial gauge will also gets the deflection and we will have the load cell measurement from the control panel and now you can also shift the distances by moving these pointers so when you will move these pointers you can have readings at different centimeter ranges and the load cell capacity is of 20 kg so each load cell is having the capacity of 20 kg so you can apply the weight till 20 kgs so here we are getting the readings in Newton so here you can see that we are getting the reading at first load cell as 2.61 then at the second we are getting 22.67 and at the third we are getting 3.84 so these are the readings which we get now we will increase the weight on both the sides so now I will put one weight at this end and I will put one weight at this end so here you can see the change in the readings on the three load cells so these readings are in Newton so that is how you have to take the readings at different different weights and you can also check the deflection from the dial gauge so here you can see the deflection reading of the third dial gauge which is placed at the third load cell now I will show you the second and this is the reading of the second load cell dial gauge and this is the reading of the first load cell dial gauge so that is how you have to take the readings of the dial gauge and the load cell readings from the control panel and you can take the centimeter reading from this scale which is provided on the top of this panel here so that is how you need to take the readings and form the observation table which is mentioned in the manual so that is how you can perform the experiment by using this beam deflection apparatus so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query related to this apparatus you can contact at tesla global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel